Hello and welcome to the Modern App Development with C Sharp 8 and .NET Core 3 course by Pack Publishing. I am Dimitris Lucas and I will be guiding you through various application scenarios with C Sharp and .NET Core. In this video I will present you the course material and everything you need to know to prepare for future videos. We will begin with reviewing the latest new features in C Sharp 8. In that section you will learn about nullable reference types, async streams, and how to take pattern matching to a new level with recursive patterns in Switch expressions. We will then move on with creating an authentication service with ASP.NET Core. C Sharp and ASP.NET Core are great tools for creating identity servers whose job is to authenticate users and generate access tokens for use with other services. In the second section of the course, we will build an authentication service from scratch using the latest additions to the ASP.NET Core Identity Library. After building a service for issuing tokens, we will need an API to consume those tokens. This is where the third section comes in. We will take all the knowledge acquired from the first section and use the latest C Sharp and .NET Core 3 features to build a RESTful API using Entity Framework Core to communicate with an SQL Server database. Moving forward, we will write a desktop application following all the best practices and the MVVM design pattern. .NET Core 3 brings support for desktop applications, so the .NET Core ecosystem now grows towards that area as well. We will use that to our advantage and build an application that makes use of all previous services built into this course. With a desktop app created, the next one we will build will be a cross-platform mobile app with Xamarin. Xamarin is a platform for building cross-platform mobile applications with near native performance and experience. In a similar way to our desktop app, the mobile application we will build will focus on delivering great user experience while using existing building blocks. On to more advanced territory now, in the next section we will study reactive microservices and the service fabric framework used for building them. We will isolate the services and match them with their own domain, data and databases so they can scale dynamically. In the final section of the course we will work a bit with cloud deployments on Microsoft Azure. Before you begin this course it is vital that you have worked with C Sharp in the past and with .NET Framework or .NET Core as well. Some familiarity with the web and RESTful APIs is assumed. Any past experience with Docker and Docker Compose will be a very nice plus. You can follow this course pretty easily on any computer running Windows 10 with the latest version of Visual Studio either preview or finally installed. We are going to use several SDKs like Service Fabric and Xamarin and we will also need Docker. You will be guided through the installation process for all three, but if you already have them installed, then it's even better. After finishing this course, you will be able to use C Sharp effectively to build web APIs and desktop apps while also having the right background to learn more and work with reactive microservices and cloud deployments. So, let's get right into it.